Hello everyone, welcome to another video of the Python tutorial series. And in this video, uh, we're going to be talking about an introduction to Platformer in Yoshina Engine number 5, adding a health bar. So let's run the code first and see what we have so far. If I run this, you'll notice I have a player, I can move left and right, and I have a trap uh, right there, and I also have a few enemies. Um, and we also have collision detection between the player and the traps and enemies. So when I get on the trap, there's the player turns red. When I hit an enemy, the player falls over. So let me run this again. Um, and we also want to have uh, real consequences when the player actually steps in the trap, rather than him just becoming red. So what we're going to do in this video is to add a health bar for the player, and whenever he steps on the trap, the health bar is going to shrink. Now when the player becomes now when the health bar becomes 0, the player will be down and then die. So first of all, let's change the level color to violet so that it will be different from the health bar color, and then we're going to create that shortly. So let's go to where we created our level, which is right here. And instead of a red color, we're going to change this to violet. So color is equal to color dot violet. And if I save and run this, and now we see that this level is now violet instead of red. So to create our health bar, we're going to create a health bar entity class first at the top. Above this define update function. Let's create a class health bar with an entity parameter. So define init of self. Uh, we're going to have a y, z, r, g, and b parameters. And here the y and z are the coordinates of the health bar in the y, z direction. And the rgb parameters are the rgb color parameters. We'll call super dot init. And we'll set self.model equal to quad self.scale equal to 10 and then 0.5. So 10 on the x, 0.5 on the y. We will set the color equal to color.rgb with our parameters rg and b. We'll set self.y equal to y, self.z equal to z, which are the parameters. And we'll set the origin equal to negative 0.5, negative 0.5. So this self.origin will keep so the origin will keep the health bar in the middle of the window. And when it shrinks, it will go from the right to the left instead of going from both sides to the middle. So now let's create the health bar objects. Now the, the idea is to have a full red bar and a full green bar overlap each other um, at first and with the green bar at the top. Then whenever the player steps on a trap, the green bar will shrink while the red bar stays the same. So underneath where we create our traps and enemies, or actually underneath our trap, let's create a help bar. It's a help bar. And we'll have a full bar. And this is equal to an object. This is an object of the health bar class. Or zero again these are the uh, y and z parameters and then our RGB 255.0.0 and as for our green bar this is also going to be an object for negative 0.01 so we'll set this behind the uh, or in front of the full bar 0 255.0 so the z coordinate of the green bar is 0 0.01, which is a bit closer to the camera than the red bar. So that means that it will show um, at the beginning. And the last three numbers, these are the RGB values again. And this full bar is going to be a red color. And this green bar is going to be a green color. So if we run, let me run this. We can see that the health bar is on the right side of the window at the beginning. And now if the player moves, um, you see that the bar doesn't really follow. The bar just stays on that side. 
And uh, since the bar doesn't move, now there's some sort of awkwardness um, when the game runs. So it would be ideal to have the health bar actually stay in the middle of the window at all times when the player moves. Now what we could do is make the bar actually follow the camera, that is make the bar have the same X coordinate with the camera. So in this update function that we created earlier, I'm going to simply set the bar's X coordinate equal to the camera's X coordinate. So full bar dot X, I'm going to set it equal to camera dot X. Similarly, I'm going to do the same thing with the green bar dot X and set it equal to the full bar dot X. Now if I save and run this, if I move, now the health bar follows the player. So now that the uh, health bar follows the movement of the player, you still notice that it was kind of on the right side of our screen and not in the middle as we wanted it to. Now we can easily correct this when we make the bar follow the camera by adding an offset of negative size over two. So if we go back into our update function, I will subtract the size divided by 2 and here the size is the width of the background image. So this acts as the offset. So if I save and run this again, now the health bar is pretty much in the center of our window and follows the player wherever he goes. Great. Now when the player steps on the trap, we also want the health bar to shrink. So first we need to set up a shrink speed, and that's how far, how fast the bar is going to shrink. So let's create a shrink variable. Let me see. We can create our shrink variable right here, and set this equal to two. And then we'll shrink our bar. Now we'll do this in the update function up here, and we want to check. Um, if the distance, or if this is uh, true, so if the player is trapped, then we want to shrink the bar. So check, check health bar. So green bar dot scale underscore x minus equal to the shrink value multiplied by time dot d two. So if I save and run this. Whenever the player steps on one of these traps, you'll notice that the bar shrinks. So I step on it again, I'll step on it again. And if I stay on it for a longer period of time, you notice that it shrinks more and more. And the second I get off, it stops shrinking. Now if I jump, you notice that when I jump, it also stops shrinking. Now when the health bar keeps shrinking, it'll become zero eventually. And when that happens, what we want is for the player to actually uh, fall down and die. You see now the bar is uh, completely red, but the player is still able to move. So what we want to do is, in this if statement, we want to check if the green bar dot scale x, if it's less than 0 0.1, which means that if it's pretty much, if the player pretty much has no health left, We'll set player dot rotation z equal to ninety, and we'll set switch equal to zero. And so when the player dies, we want the enemies to basically stop moving, and so the switch variable will be set to zero. And the enemies will only move when the switch equals one. So now if I save and run this, and I stay on the trap long enough until it reaches zero, we should see that the player rotates uh, and falls down which he does. Lastly, when the player collides with the enemy and dies, uh, we want the health bar to also become zero as well. So now we want to check, or we want to go to uh, up here, and basically when a enemy collides with the player, we will set green bar dot scale equal to zero, or dot scale x equal to zero, and that just sets the green bar equal to zero, which means that the uh, bar is going to be completely red. So now if I save and run this, when we saw that the enemy hit the player, 
the green bar turn completely red. So this is the end of this video. If you have any comments, please put them below in the comment section. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit the red button below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.